This video includes demonstrations of how to use certain adaptive kitchen tools. Please refer to the video description below for the full list of items and timestamps for when they appear. So I'm going to demonstrate some instruments that uh, help you to dice and, and chop up some food items. Okay, so it does take a little bit of uh, force, but it, it actually does a pretty good job. It diced it up into like small pieces of uh, french fry shape. And again, be careful when you're cleaning that part out. Hopefully you have a dishwasher, you can just throw it in the top rack and not worry about it. But this is also maybe a little easier, a little safer device that's, um, that you're just going to press down on top of the, the item. You put the piece of potato inside this one and you're just going to press down. Actually, that's pretty easy. And it cut it into some pieces. But if you want it smaller, you need to put the piece back in and then press down again and it'll cut it again. So now it's smaller pieces and if you want it finer, you do it again. So it's, it's actually, yeah, this one's quite easy and it's safe and it's, um, it's all contained inside. But as you can see, this is, it did a pretty good job of, uh, you know, and this could be done for other items too, especially probably that would work better with onions or uh, tomatoes, but potato even works well. So a lot of people may not have access to an accessible knife. So we have um, something, a guard to protect your fingers. And we also have a, a knife that is, has a better grip for people like myself that has um, trouble holding on to items. Um, so here we go, to protect your fingers. This is really useful because when a lot of food items you have to keep moving along and cutting and then moving further along, you can keep moving the finger uh, protector along and then you your fingers are never exposed while you're cutting. Like so. And see, my, my fingers are out of the way. It's behind the guard. This is an, this is a adapted knife. Since I don't have any hand function, I can't really hold on to knives safely. This is a really cool device because it's custom to your forearm width and your fingers are totally safe and out of the way besides your other hand of course so you do have to be mindful of that it is really smooth to cut as you can tell um, and it's one of my favorite devices sometimes if i need more leverage or weight on the knife to go through the vegetable or whatever i am cutting i will use both hands and forearms I have to be mindful about my angles because my core is a little weak. So. This knife is really great. It's a good quality. It's stainless steel. So I will be able to use it for a really long time. Let's cut up some bread. So here is an adapted cutting board. What's really great about that is it has these metal spikes in the board that can really secure what you are cutting. And then this is a clamp that you can adjust forwards and backwards. You gotta push it a little bit. These also move in and out so you can really customize whatever you are cutting, um, it makes it a lot easier. So now I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna push this ball down to lock it, grab my adapted knife carefully, slide my
And now we can make a delicious slice of bread. And you can really see it's holding that bread so easily. I don't have to worry about using my opposite hand to hold it steady and that makes it safer so I don't slip if the item slips and my hand slips you know who knows what could happen when you have a knife so this is a whole lot safer as well yes the spikes are really helpful for larger more round objects too like a slice of um, a head of cabbage cantaloupe because I've noticed when I'm cutting round objects they roll around everywhere it's hard to keep it stable then it's harder to cut so this would also benefit really well with even like a potato that we sliced earlier the spikes really control that object that you don't have to worry about maybe even a tomato an apple it's pretty universal product and it's really easy to manipulate this knife is really great obviously i have hand impairments but someone that might have have arthritis that um, can't hold onto objects very easily or strongly because really where all the power is coming from is your forearm. Um, it is padded on the inside too, so you don't have to worry about any pressure sores. So that's cool. So would that be like good for like a hand that has three fingers? Would that work with this? Hand? You want to try it? Sure. Let's try it. Yep. Nice. This is um, an apple slicer. Use both of your hands and then you just so you gotta use force to it but as you can see there's the apple slices. In the bottom of the blades, I didn't get this apple all the way, but the bottom of the blades are really sharp, so please be careful. Um, that's why you have these little handles here. Your hands should always be, be there and never under the blades. That would be for a real bad day. Okay, so this is the Easy Grip Card Knife. Um, I like this because, like I said earlier, I can't, I don't use my hand, my left hand a lot to hold or cut things. This is easy for me to grip because it's on top. Then like that, you have, you cut that like that, and then, and then, voila. Perfect. So one of the things that cooking involves is opening up cans and uh, myself I have limited use of my right hand and my left hand is paralyzed so using can openers is very difficult for me. Um, even electric can openers usually you have to press one lever while you're holding the can. It can be very challenging to do that but this can opener makes it very easy because it's a one-handed can opener and it allows you to just place it on top of the can, press this simple little button, and it basically walks itself around the can and takes the lid off. It couldn't be any simpler. And <laughs> there you go, this is just, couldn't be any easier to get that, the top off this can, so. So for cutting up uh, produce, this is an onion. Uh, this is a great little instrument called a rocker knife. They make different um, styles of it, but this one has two handles and someone modified it with some sticky silicone on each side to make it easier for someone that has limited hand strength. So I'll just show you how I can rock this knife and cut this onion with it. Pretty, pretty simple and feels pretty safe to do that. Really makes it easy because you're able to use your leverage to rock it back and forth and cut through the item. And you can turn the item to make more cuts to it. 
So this is another version of a rocker knife, but this one you can only use one hand. So go. Like that. Then a pretty onion. Then like the other one, just rock it. This is a bowl and a colander all in one. So the great thing about this is it's really lightweight, it's large, it has a handle, and all you have to do to strain it, all you have to do to strain it is just tip it through the holes. It's really simple. So now I'm going to use my tenedesis grass. It helps me open my hands up and I'm going to grab the can. Make sure I have a good grasp. And I'll do this with two hands. And now I'll drain it. So here is a bowl, but it's also a measuring cup. Now what's so great about this bowl is, one, there's a handle. So if you have um, limited hand, function you can just wrap it around you don't really have to grab anything but there's also this rubber um, and that's going to help with any sliding it's really going to be sturdy you don't have to worry if it's going to move out of place and the other cool thing about this bowl is that the measurements are on the inside so as you're pouring it you don't have to look at the side you can just look straight into the bowl and there's this easy lip right here to guide anything right down the center. This handle is great for anyone, whether you have hand mobility or not. You can hold it like this, slide your wrist in it, and then tip. Because that grip is there, it's going to help you a lot. Another thing to highlight with that silicone is also in spatulas and cooking utensils. This product is very lightweight, it's a spatula, and I have so much control when I'm stirring things. When I am using a bowl, the silicone is nice to have on the bottom of the bowl too, so that when you're stirring, it's not going to be moving, and you will have as much control in the kitchen as possible. This is one of my favorite tools. It is a reacher. All you have to do is slide your hand in it, and lift your wrist up. If you have that tenedesis grasp, it's great for that. You can get things from the higher shelf. I use this a lot in the refrigerator. If you have an above head microwave, if you need to grab something hot, if you need to grab something off the ground, that this is a great device to use for that. If you drop something, you can pick it up too. No big deal. I use this mini reacher for my left hand and it's say for grabbing something hot or something off the shelf that might not be as far. I use this for grocery shopping as well and I ordered it and customized it for my opposite hand that I drive with my joystick. This is a very convenient item. Uh, this is a uh, heating pad that allows you to put a bowl in it and move the, the bowl in and out of the microwave without being burned. It's um, very useful piece, adaptive piece that allows you to pick up a bowl and not get burned by the heat on the bowl. So let's be honest, everybody's burned their hand more than once when getting stuff out of a microwave, an oven, or whatever. So this is nice because I can get it out. I'm not touching the bowl at all. The bowl's still hot, but I'm not touching it. I'm touching the this.